Coach Shell, in late January, there was a lot of discussion about the breakup of divisions in the Big Ten uh, for 2023 because of the playoff system to get more teams involved. Has there been more progression? Talk about that. And how do you feel about that? Yeah, you know, as coaches, uh, again, those things are, are above my pay grade um, in terms of how this thing is broken up and we'll, we'll deal with the hand that's dealt with us. Uh, we always try to focus on the things we have control. If you'd like to hear my opinion, I definitely think um, that there would, there would be some benefits of us uh, breaking up our conferences and how they're set up. Um, the goal is to always uh, put the Big Ten in the best possible position um, to have teams get into the playoffs. Uh, I think that when you look at the way our divisions are set up, um, both sides have their issues. But if you look at the Big Ten East, there's no doubt in my mind that it's one of the toughest uh, divisions in college, all of college football. And I've had a chance as a coach to be in some pretty tough divisions. And I do think it would be beneficial for our conference. But again, um, Commissioner Warren and the powers that be We'll figure that piece out and we'll continue to deal with whatever schedule is placed upon us. Hey, Coach, when you got here, you started to send out, or the team did, messages that had a TBIA uh, attached, which is the best is ahead. People wondered what that was about. I'm wondering where did that come from and how do you measure up to the, the best is ahead? Are you on track with where you thought you'd be? Um, I definitely feel like we're on track. Um, the TBIA acronym came from my late great friend Trevor Moad, who served as an advisor to me over the last, since I've come to Maryland and then prior to that, my relationship with him, uh, working with us at Alabama, you know, Trevor passed a year ago, um, you know, from cancer, and, and Trevor was an awesome, awesome uh, voice uh, for me. He was a guy that I could lean on um, in terms of mental creating mental edges for your teams and definitely have played a role in where this program is so you know the best is ahead you know, Trevor would always say that to me when I hung up with him uh, about our program but it's something that he used quite a bit and you know kind of stuck with me because as you build sometimes you can't see the forest through the trees and you know if I sit and listen to everything that you guys write and say I'd kind of get overwhelmed and so as long as you keep your eyes on the prize that we're working for toward a goal, which to me is to put Maryland back in the landscape of college football as a, a, a program that, that when they show up, they're going to show up. And that's the goal. And uh, we've got the type of players in our program, the type of coaches, the type of support that we're taking the next step and we do feel our best is ahead.